These two buttons were made with the exact same goal in mind, but only one actually performed. And in today's video, I'm going to explain exactly why. You see, the very first issue we have is the text, contact us. This is very vague. It doesn't tell you who or what's going to happen next after a user clicks on this button. And guys, that is a big problem. Reason why is because this is going to cause some hesitation with users on your website. And you can also see in the text, there is no icons or there's nothing indicating how exactly they're going to be able to be contacted. For example, there's no envelope to symbolize an email, no phone to symbolize a phone call. We just have a plain contact us button. So let's fix that. So the first thing we need to do to fix our call to action button is fix the text. We're gonna put a phone call icon in there and we're gonna change the text from contact us to call now to speak with us. Here with this text, we're giving them more clarity. They know what is going to happen after they click on this button. And they also know that when they do click on the button to get on the phone, they should be speaking to someone from the company. So now that we fixed our text, let's fix the actual look of our button. So the first thing we need to do is we need to dim down our green and also reduce the opacity of our background green to let the text pop up in our button. I'm also gonna add in a box shadow inside of our box. On the outside, we are going to go and give it a border. We're gonna use a bright green and for the font we're going to be using the outfit font and we're going to increase the boldness of the font and there we have this button over here if you enjoy short tips like this follow for no fluff web design tips